Hey, yup, that's the moment I met David Beckham for Zero Malaria's Change the Story campaign. A child-centered storytelling campaign highlighting the impact that changing weather is having on malaria. I am Eliane Rundiko Klassengadai. I am your narrator as well as a school student, a keen field hockey player, a dog lover, and an International Children's Peace Prize nominee. I am also Kenya's youngest climate and malaria champion, as far as I know. So why am I in the Natural History Museum's Earth Sciences Library with David Beckham? I'll tell you the story, but I've got a few other stories to tell you while I'm at it. But first, let me introduce you. Meet David. I think you know him. Meji Alibi, our Grammy Award winning director and our awesome crew. And me. Hi. Remind me how old you are again. I th- I'm 13 now and then I started when I was four. So I've been four. Here, yes, when I was four. Okay. I started my genuine as environmental activist at the age of four. And this was basically when we were in kindergarten and we were doing a project about heroes. So, you know, when I was young, I just wanted to plant trees as many as I possibly could. And I did that. I planted 1.3 million trees, but I think I want to plant more. I met your mum earlier, and she must be so proud of what you've achieved in such a short space of time in your, in your short life so far. Yeah, I hope she's proud. Yes, mama definitely is proud. I'm her little hero. <laughs> But the real heroes of this story are the millions of children around the world whose voices are so often left unheard, despite being the most affected by malaria. To know that a a child dies every single minute um, is quite shocking. So, you know, when you speak to children about this, they want to be heard. They want to be the voice of change. We all know that this generation of, of children are the ones that are going to see the change. So that's why it's so important. Um, You know, every year, malaria always takes so many lives. So if I can be a part of the message and the movement to help bring awareness to this, but also to help, you know, save lives, then I'm always ready to be a part of that. That's the one. Malaria is a treatable and preventable disease. This is the story of one of humankind's oldest and deadliest villains, malaria. We can end malaria in my lifetime, but every year we wait, the impacts of changing weather are becoming stronger and rising threats will make it harder to beat. Our first story tells us of a mama called Selina in Mozambique, whose husband sadly died from malaria just before Cyclone Freddy hit. After the cyclone, stagnant floodwater invaded neighborhoods, creating a haven for mosquitoes. Malaria soon ravaged towns and filled hospitals. Selina's two daughters soon fell sick and had to go to hospital. They live to tell this story, but many children don't. In our next story, we hear of clouds of mosquitoes descending on a village in Pakistan after the devastating floods. Mujahid's little boy needed a visit from an emergency medical team after falling ill days later. He had malaria, but with the right treatment, he recovered. These weather events not only destroy homes, they create the perfect home for mosquitoes. People who have already lost so much now have to protect themselves and their children from deadly diseases too. It can't end like this. No, it can't. Change the Story is calling on leaders to recognize the impact that changing weather and other rising threats are having on malaria. We are asking leaders to listen to the voices of children affected by malaria and to make decisions now that will change the story for millions of children around the world. The decisions that adults make um, really affect our future. And as children, for us to start also being part of the decisions and knowing what we want for our future is really important. Join me and call on world leaders to act now to save millions of children's lives. It is time to change the story. Will you?